It's fair to say that there's a lot of game passes in ERLC, but in this video I'm going to be going through each and every single one and talking about the benefits, the pros and the cons of each game pass and talking about which one you should buy. If you do enjoy this video or if it helps you out at all, please make sure you drop a like and also subscribe, but let's get straight into it. Okay, so if we go over to the ERLC homepage and scroll down to game passes, you can see we have a huge amount of game passes. Now we don't get that many game passes added, so this video should stay in date for quite a while and to my knowledge prices have pretty much never been changed i know this swat team one was at 1.740 robux but going up by 10 robux really isn't that much of a difference and i think the police customization one was a bit cheaper at one point but for the most part the game passes stay the same price so let's get straight into it with the first one which is the big guns game pass so the big guns game pass gives you as you can see three extra guns here and it says more guns will be added in the near future it has said this for a long long time and there hasn't been any new guns for about a year now so maybe in the future we'll get some more big guns but for now we get a sniper a machine gun and a submachine gun now i'm not going to go and test out all of these guns but just trust me when i say they are pretty good and you should buy this game pass however only if you're a criminal a lot of the time now what i'll talk about a lot with these game passes is only buy what you play for most for example if you play erlc mostly for the police team then you're not going to want the big guns game pass because the big guns game pass is simply for criminals and if you're always a police officer then there's no point because you won't actually get to use any of the guns because you'll always be on the police team and the thing to note as well when you buy all of these game passes you don't get the things for free so even if you buy the big guns game pass you still have to actually purchase the guns at the gun store and they're like two thousand dollars so it still costs you a lot of money and if you get arrested easily then you're gonna lose a lot of money as well so just make sure you only buy what is necessary but if you are a criminal a lot of the time and that's what mostly you use when you play era see then i would definitely recommend this game pass as one of the top game passes if you are a criminal because it's only 185 robux and you get three guns and a sniper and the machine gun are definitely very very useful so highly recommend this if you play on the criminal team quite a bit and now the next game pass we're going to talk about is the classic cars game pass so it's 90 robux which is fairly cheap and as you can see it allows you to buy all classic cars in the game there's about eight classic cars i want to say in the game they add more every now and then there's not really many new classic cars added because not many people really use the classic cars um but you can see here you will still have to spend game cash to buy each car however prices are lower than normal cars so if i reset myself here we'll have a look at some of the prices on the classic cars i think i own pretty much all of them uh but if we try and find one that i don't own which i don't know if there is any of them that i don't own yeah so i can't really find any classic cars that i don't own but if you have a look, all of the classic cars will be like around the top area, which is all like under $100,000. And there isn't really that are down here. I think the most expensive classic car is this one, and it's only about $100,000, which isn't too bad. I mean, one thing I have noticed just with this car here, there's a bit of a glitch. It doesn't actually tell you how fast it is. Uh, so that's not very good. It does for every other car. It's just this one that seems to be glitch. If we spawn it in though, this is the most expensive classic car. And obviously this one is quite simple. Only buy it if you actually like classic cars. Like, this car is cool, but me personally, I'm not a huge fan of classic cars. But again, if you like classic cars, buy it. And again, also take note, if you play on the police team a lot, don't go buying classic cars. Because if you don't play on the civilian team enough, there's no point buying any civilian game passes. But yes, the cars are decently fast. They look very, very cool. They're very nice and detailed. And they are quite cheap. Um, but obviously, if you pay 90 Robux and then you still have to buy the vehicles as well, then maybe consider what you want to do there. But that is the classic cars game pass. Only buy it. If you play on the civilian team quite a bit and the next one is the police customization one so if i go ahead and join onto the police team we get a whole lot with this game pass i would say if you are a police officer this game pass is a must have so if we run outside and go to one of the police cars this is how you customize all of your vehicles so for example if we go with the falcon stallion 350 you can see this is the ford gt now you have to excuse me because i don't exactly know what you can and can't get because i have the game pass but if you have a look here the accessories i believe you need the um police customization game pass for all of them so if you want the wraparound rambar i believe you need police customization if you want to add or remove the spotlight i believe you do if 
If you're on the ALPR, I don't think you need that, but maybe you do. If you're on the push bar, I don't think you need it for that either. And then with police customization, you also get some other things like all of the different lights you can customize, and you can customize these ones up here as well. Now bear in mind, you can still change liveries. This is a different game pass if you want the ghost and undercover liveries. If you're in a private server and that has their own liveries uploaded, you can still use them without having the police customization game pass. But there is a lot you can do with the police customization game pass. You can really make your car look really stylish. And if you want to go really undercover, then you can also do that. If you kind of remove all of these features here, and you can see this car really does look undercover and uh, you can't really see any police lights anywhere because these are all like blended in unless you actually turn them on. So this really does look like a civilian car and with the unmarked plate as well, you can really blend yourself in. However, you need the detective game pass to go completely undercover. Police customization game pass is mostly just for the lights and that kind of thing. So again, if you use the police team a lot, I would recommend this one. However, it is quite expensive. So you have to make that choice for yourself depending on what cars you use most. Like if you want to really make your car look really cool with all the ram bars and all the different lights and stuff, go for it. But 400 Robux is quite expensive and it's not necessary, like it's not going to give you any advantage. It's literally just a few extra lights for your vehicle. Again, if you play on the police team a lot, then I would recommend it. But let's move on to the detective game pass. So this is similar to what I was just talking about. I won't spend too long on it, but it gives you detective perks in the game. So if we run inside here, there's a few tools you get. So you obviously get the detective uniform, which looks pretty cool, I guess. I mean, if you play on private servers a lot, which most people do, then there's not really any point because you get your own uniform on there anyway. Uh, but you also get things like the evidence model markers, the binoculars, and the police tape. So the binoculars are probably the coolest part about this whole uh, thing. As you can see, when you get the binoculars out, it, it is pretty cool. You can like spy on people. They're not great. You can zoom in though and see like really, really far ahead. For example, we see that orange car all the way over there, but if I get rid of my binoculars, like you can barely see it. It's just all the way in the distance. So if you want to role play really nicely like that and actually have like undercover operations, then the binoculars are very good and so is the police tape and stuff. But I'd say the main thing for the detective game pass is the undercover vehicles which I just showed you if I customize this vehicle quickly once again go team accessories uh, and scroll down you get the undercover and the ghost textures I must say I don't know anyone that uses the ghost ones I think they're pretty useless like there's no point it's not on marked you can still clearly tell it's a police car uh, and obviously the undercover one is pretty cool and you get I think you get the um, unmarked plate and wheel covers with the detective game pass as well I don't think that's with the police customization game pass so yeah detective game pass is kind of worth it 300 robux if you want to be undercover then definitely an undercover police car is definitely cool to use in ERC but again if you play on private servers then a lot of them have strict rules against undercover police cars so you need to decide if you want it and obviously only use it if you actually use the police team a lot otherwise there's no point in buying it because you won't use it very much but let's move on to the next one which is the premium house game pass many of you will know I absolutely hate this game pass if I go over to the housing suburbs quickly I will show you what I mean. This game pass is really, really bad. There's only one good thing about it, but it's 185 Robux and it is not worth it at all. So the premium house game pass basically allows you to buy a two story house. That's it. There's no catch to it. It's literally you can buy a two story house and you can use the garage there, which I will talk about when we actually get there. So in the housing suburbs, you can see there's loads of houses. We've got all these one-story houses. Premium houses are these ones here, these two-story ones. Now, again, you still actually have to buy them with cash. So if we come over here, you can see we still actually have to buy it. So if we buy it for 2,600, we run inside. They're the exact same as any other house, just a different interior. They've got the same like furniture items and stuff. It's just a tiny bit bigger and it's got like a tiny second floor here. Like this is hardly a second floor. Look at this, it's like that. Like that is not much. The rooms are decently big and stuff, but come on, it's not really worth it that much very expensive you still have to buy the house the only good thing about this entire premium house game pass is that you can spawn a car from your garage so i'm on the police team so i can't actually show it to you but if you sport if you press e to spawn a car here it basically brings up the same menu you get at civilian spawn except it only shows you cars you own so you can't buy cars here but for example if you're being chased by the police and you can't get to civilian spawn or something then i guess you can just come to a house and quickly spawn a new vehicle if your other one's on fire or something but other than that, it is really, really useless and it's very expensive for 185 Robux. If you do roleplay a lot, 
then maybe it's worth it but it's still very very expensive and i would advise against buying it that's just my opinion of course if you want it go ahead and buy it but let's move on to the next one which is the swat team game pass so the swat team game pass is quite a popular game pass in era c if i reset myself over here so with the swat game pass it's 750 robux and what you get is for stars this swat uniform it looks pretty cool however again a lot of people that play on private servers which is most people no one really uses public servers to actually role play most people People that play on private servers aren't allowed to wear this you're not really allowed to use this they all have their own uniforms and stuff um so if you play on private servers don't buy it because you're not allowed to wear this uniform you won't be allowed to wear this vest you just buy your own like a lot of people do in the avatar shop spend 750 robux in the actual avatar shop getting your avatar exactly how you want instead of on this game pass however there are a few good features about this so if we have a look here uh with the swat game pass we get a ballistic shield we get a battering ram we get two police vests just depending on what uh, avatar style you have police helmet and a safety rope the safety rope and the ballistic shield are pretty cool and the battering ram you can use if you need to get into a wanted person's house unless you have the swat game pass you cannot get into a wanted person's house by the way unless you like shoot through the windows and run in or whatever and of course with the swat game pass you also get the g36c and this sniper i'm not gonna i don't know how to say that but you get a g36c and a sniper which are very very good guns however if you have the ballistic shield i'd recommend a glock 17 because if you have the ballistic shield then uh uh, you can get this out and you can see here it says press G to equip to the sidearm so you can get a gun and a ballistic shield now bear in mind you can't um, actually get like a rifle or a sniper obviously if you have the shield out and you walk very very slow I'm holding shift right now trying to run and it doesn't let you and you walk very very slow and if you right click as well uh, it gets a little bit weird but if you don't right click then I guess you are very much more defended and you can shoot quite well and you do have a bit more protection um, but yeah, I guess buy this if you want. And then we have the safety rope as well, which if you like click up here, for example, you can see it's a rope and then you can use uh, F to pull you in or R to like release you a bit. So if I just hold F right now, it's going to pull me in, then it will pick me up as we get closer. I'm just holding F right now. I'm not even touching any other button on my keyboard. And as you can see, as we get closer here, it will start to lift us up off the ground. There we go. You can see we're sort of hovering now oh and then yeah so you can see it is a little bit glitchy and then if we drop ourselves back down again you can kind of like fly around it can be quite fun um but yeah i guess it's not great you can't really use it for role play like there's not really anything any use for it. it's just like a little funny thing they added and obviously the main thing with the swat game pass that you get is the swat truck you get a few liveries on some of the vehicles i'm not going to show you that uh because there's no point but you get a few swat liveries that just say liberty county swat on them uh and obviously you get this main swat bear can now on the show team this is green on the police team it's black so the black one looks nicer in my opinion but this one is an armored vehicle so for example if i crash into a light pole here if you look in the top right uh no that didn't work let's try that again if i crash into this light pole here will it knock it over no okay i guess i can't show you that but basically the damage is much it's much harder to damage this vehicle you can get shot at by a machine gun literally hundreds of rounds and your vehicle won't set on fire and it's very very difficult to pop the tires on this swat truck you can barely pop them i've tried a lot of times and it's really really difficult because they are very very armored a little bit op in my opinion however this vehicle is very very slow and it's kind of trash for anything other than being shot at so if you're not being shot at then it's a really really useless vehicle but it does look very cool and you you can get some really really cool liveries on this as well in private servers so again if you play on private servers it depends on the private server because some of them won't even allow half of the swat gear most of them don't allow the swat bear cat they have like their own liveries for them and stuff so i guess buy it if you play on the police team a lot in public servers now the thing is with the swat vest and helmet it does give you more health it gives you like a 25 percent uh health buff if you use uh the swat vests here and the swat helmet i believe it does yeah, so it reduces damage taken by 15%. So not quite 25%, but 15%. So you get 15% extra health. And obviously you can use all your face mask and flashlight and stuff. So you get 15% extra health. So in a public server, I guess it can be useful because you have more health to like fight criminals with. But yeah, that is the SWAT game pass. It's very, very expensive. So only buy if you actually play on the police team a lot. Otherwise, it is completely not worth it and as you can see here it also says the bearcat armor truck will be unlocked at rank three so unless you're rank three you can't even use the bearcat rank three i believe is sergeant do they still have the things up here yeah team ranks if we open this you can see police staff sheriff rank 
uh, rank 3 is car Corporal, so not Sergeant, but Corporal, so you can see Swatch Rock here, so you need 1200 XP to actually use it, a lot of people have a lot of XP, which doesn't really matter, um, but yeah, that's what Game Pass, let's move on to the next one, only buy it if you play on the police team, and the next one is the permanent scanner, so this one's really, really quick to explain, if I join back onto the police team, not onto the police team, onto the civilian team, sorry, then you see I have the permanent scanner, now the thing to note is that you can just buy this scanner from the tool store, so before I show you what the scanner is, all this is, is it gives you it permanently, so if you get arrested and you get released out of jail, you'll still have it if you have the permanent game pass, if you don't have the permanent game pass and you get arrested, then you have to go back to the tool store and buy it, it's a few thousand dollars, um, it's only, how much robux is it, it's only 85 robux, so I guess it's not that bad, it's quite a good price, and if you play, this is one of the game passes where you should only get if you play on the criminal team a lot, now if I activate this here, you can see, so it shows you the live police radio chat and then if I go to my map here you can see I've got like this little yellow circle surrounding me now for the time that the scanner is activated it will show all police officers within this radius uh, and it will show them as like a blue and red flashing dot if there's none here then it won't it, there will be nothing there so you know if any police so if you're robbing an ATM for example you can quickly check this before you rob it check if any police are nearby if they are you maybe don't rob it if there's none there then go for it and you can rob it and then you know that you're quite safe because there's no one nearby thing with the scanner is though it only lasts for seven minutes as you can see six minutes 20 seconds remaining there uh, and there's a five minute cooldown so when this runs out I have to wait another five minutes uh, before I can use it again even if you have the permanent scanner game pass so yeah only buy this if you play it on the criminal team quite a lot and remember even if you don't buy this you can still get the scanner you'll just have to buy it from the tool store and if you get arrested you'll lose it whereas if you have the game pass you'll keep it forever that's the permanent scanner game pass let's move on to the instant refuel game pass so the instant refuel game pass is only 75 robux in my opinion i would say it is definitely worth it 75 robux is kind of the amount that a lot of people have and if you don't then it's like one dollar to buy like 80 robux or something which you can do on mobile i think so it's definitely uh definitely worth it it's like a dollar and it will help you a lot basically all it does is means that when you low on fuel you can just press this instant refuel instead of having to click and hold here and you can see it does take quite a while and if you're in a pursuit then you can't really sit here and click and wait all this time whereas if you have the instant refuel game pass you click it and as you can see i'm at full fuel that's literally all it does it instantly refuels your vehicle does it on all the teams police fire sheriff even if you've got like a bank truck or a, i don't know like a taxi or something or a limo it instantly refuels every single vehicle you have if you press the instant refuel thing only 75 robux i would highly recommend it. it saves you a lot of time and it's very boring to just sit at a petrol station or a gas station and just refuel your car so yeah definitely recommend this no matter what team you play probably like the best game pass for 75 robux uh but let's move on to the unlawful game the unlawful upgrades game pass so this one is one of the newer ones and it's quite a unique and good game pass so this one is definitely only made for criminals and this is mafias as well so you only need to buy this if you do play as a criminal quite a lot of the time I'm not sure why it's a hot pink vehicle over there um but basically what the unlawful upgrades game pass does is it allows you to adjust the payout percentage for mafia members increase mafia member limit from four to six and a 25 percent increased reward for all robberies with or without a mafia so if we go up here to the top right this is the mafia thing now if i start a mafia here i can just call it test for example and what you can do with the game pass is you can change the mafia color here so the game pass allows you to change the color so for example if i do that and then when you look on your map instead of it showing like a gray dot for all of the civilians they'll be like whatever color you set it to so for me i set it to red so all of the people in my mafia will show up as like a red circle instead of gray circle on my map and i think they also have like a name tag that's red or like a red dot above their head or whatever color it is for example um and the other thing you get with this game pass is the ability to change the percentage so if i had another person in here then usually it would be 50 percent and 50 percent if there was three people it would be 33 33 and 33 however if you have this game pass you can change it so if you really wanted to you could give yourself 90 percent and everyone else in your mafia like five percent or whatever percentage you want and of course the biggest thing with this is you get 25 percent extra extra income from all robberies even if you're not in a mafia you get 25 percent more money from every single robbery you do so if you are a criminal and you grind on the criminal team to get a lot of money buy this game pass even if you don't use a mafia you get 25 percent more money which if you earn a million dollars for example which is not too hard to get any RLC these days. If you rob things and get a million dollars with this game pass, you get $250,000 extra, which if we have a look at the cash here, $250,000 would cost you like what? 580 
like that'd cost you like 800 750 robux something like that i can't be bothered to do the maths to get 250,000. whereas this game pass is only 250 so you do get a lot more money from this and it's much more beneficial if you actually grind and it's it's kind of like an investment in era of scene where you get a lot more money back from it in the long run if you have this game pass rather than just buying straight up cash so yes i highly recommend this one especially if you play on the criminal team quite a lot and you play as a criminal a lot of the time in era c but let's move on to the next one which is the final one the fd special operations game pass where do i start with this one so this game pass is the most recent game pass that we got in ERLC and with all due respect to the developers it is an absolute rip off it's 400 robux and it is not worth it at all okay even if you play on the fire team it's not worth it because barely any scenes ever require the hazmat thing so the things you get in this game pass is good the the, the assets and the things they made and created for the game pass is good but they're useless you never have a use for them even in private servers you'll be really lucky to get a use out of them so if i run over here to the um tools and clothing thing we'll show the vehicle in a moment but let's look at the tools first so if you come here you can see you get a hazmat level b suit which is this which does look cool i must admit it is cool then we get the hazmat level a suit which again is very very cool and then we get the tech rescue suit which is also very very cool let's get the hazmat level a suit on again up here we have the helmet and we can remove hats there you go and this does look very very nice like i said the way they made it is very good it's just useless you're never there's, there's never a scene in erc where you will need this hazmat and if there is it's very very rare and it's not worth 400 robux unless you're literally rich in in roblox however you can see tools we get a lot so we get a wash station deployable tent life ring life vest hazmat neutralizer and a safety rope the safety rope is the exact same thing oh gosh the safety rope is the exact same thing as we have on the uh swat team which i showed you earlier and obviously we have the life vest which i will admit looks pretty cool i believe it does help you float better in the water um so you can't like swim as deep but i'm not sure on that i'm not 100 percent then we have the hazmat neutralizer so the only thing the hazmat game pass is useful for is the private server calls the major server call outs which is one of them's like a chemical spill and this is the only thing you will be able to use this game pass for like actually properly and you'll need this hazmat neutralizer to go over like the uh chemicals and like neutralize them or whatever this is for and if you hold left click you can see it pours on the floor that's literally it they have a life ring so you can kind of click this and it will fly over so if someone's like in the water then you can click and throw it over you can't aim where this is going like it just goes wherever it wants like you can't like even if i click close to me here you can see it still like flies all the way in front like if i click right here you can see it flies all the way over there so you can't really like do it properly and you can retract it using r and f like i was talking about earlier but someone's gonna it's quite difficult to do that and it's very glitchy as well and if you if we sit in it can we sit in it we can't sit in it because it's my own life ring but it's not very good and if you put the tool away by the way it like deletes it so yeah not great they have the deployable tent i must say probably the coolest thing about this game pass it does look very nice we accidentally placed two let's just remove this one it does look cool it's you, not really got any use you could do some role plays in it there like a camping trip or something uh and then we have the wash station so this is like a little shower thing and that that that's literally it so it's not a great game pass for 400 robux it's not really worth it and then the final thing is the vehicle so it's the which one is it the special operations unit so if we spawn it in the vehicle itself looks very very cool but it doesn't look like anything like insane it's very nice but it is extremely slow probably slower than the swat truck um and it, it is cool i must say it is very very cool but it's not it's not worth 400 robux you're never going to be able to use it a, a lot of private servers won't allow you to drive this vehicle around because it's quite unrealistic i do like how there's this little ladder on the back which you can't actually climb up um but yeah we can obviously access the compartments on the side that is all you get for this game pass it's okay but again you're not going to use it and not many people play on the fire team a lot and if you do i guess then you could consider it but that's only a small percentage of people and even then you probably still don't want to use it because you're never actually going to get to use it very much i think they just added this so that they have a game pass for the fire team because a lot of people are asking for it it is a cool thing to add but for 400 robux i think it's not worth it that's just my opinion of course but that is all of the game passes so let's get a quick overview i think the best one for the criminal team is either the unlawful upgrades or the big guns game pass for the police team i would say either 
the Detective Game Pass or the SWAT Team Game Pass. And then just some additional Game Passes that are recommended is the Instant Refuel Game Pass. And the one that I least recommend to anyone is the Premium House Game Pass. It's 135 Robux, I think I said 185 earlier, but it's not worth it. Don't buy it. Uh, and the other ones, you can just decide if you want to buy it, you know, uh, depending on how much you play on the team and how much Robux you have. But that is the end of this extremely long video. I hope it helped some of you out. If it did, please, please, please make sure you drop a like and also subscribe. I do apologize for my avatar looking out absolutely horrendous right now um but yeah make sure you join my discord server discord.gg slash amaze follow me on twitter and instagram at amazeplays underscore and of course follow me on tiktok at amazeplays yt but like i said thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully i will see you in my next video bye